Hey guys, happy go lucky here, back with another maths question of the day. Today we're looking at 2020 specimen paper for IGCSE. And the question goes, the perimeter of the rectangle is 80 centimeters. The area of the rectangle is A centimeters squared. For the first part of the question, which we'll be doing today, show that x squared minus 40x plus A equals zero. Press pause, have a think about it, and then I'll be back with the work solutions in five, four, three, two, Okay guys, we're back for the work solutions. Originally, when you first look at this question, you think, oh my word, how on earth am I supposed to solve any of this? But at the end of the day, it is just a rectangle. And the rectangle formula is just width times length. So you should be looking at it that way, building up from the bottom rather than looking at it and getting a headache and going, I think that's actually too difficult. So we're gonna use a bit of algebra skills to rearrange and work out that x squared minus 40x plus a equals zero. And you'll be amazed that you actually did it by the end of it. So the first thing we know is the perimeter of the rectangle is 80 centimeters, which means all the way, all the way around the outside of the rectangle, that's going to be 80. What we know about rectangles is opposite sides are equal. So there's two x sides. And this side, we know that's going to be longer. So yes, it's x, but there's a little bit on top of x as well. So we don't know what that number is yet. It might be x plus 10, might be x plus 50. We don't know. So instead, put a letter in the way. And that's why algebra is so useful, because it helps you work out unknowns. When you don't know what it is, you put it there ready so you can solve it later on. The next thing we're told is the area of the rectangle is a centimeter squared. Well, area of a rectangle is just length times width, or width times length. It's easier to do the x first in this case. So basically all we need to do is x multiplied by x plus b. When you open those brackets, x times x is x squared, and x times b is plus xb. That might help us later on. And that gives us a. So going back to the perimeter of the rectangle, we know that x plus x plus x plus b plus x plus b is going to add up to 80. So if we put them all together, we've got one, two, three, four x's, and we've got two b's. Remember, we don't have to know what b is yet. We might be able to find out later. What we do know is that adds up to 80. Now, if we go back to the area part of it, we need to find out this missing value here, this extra bit added onto x, which we've called b. We can use the second line, the 4x plus 2b equals 80, to find b. At the moment, we know that 2b's plus 4x equals 80, looking at this line here. So if we want to get b on its own, the first thing we need to do, if you look back at previous videos on changing the subject, we have to snap off what's attached to b. So let's take 4x away from that and take 4x away from that side. That gives us just 2b equals 80, take away 4x. That still doesn't give us b on its own. We have to divide that by 2. So that means a single b is half of 80, that's 40, take away half of 4x, which is 2x. So now, good news, we actually know the algebraic value of b. And we can plug that into the area formula. OK, coming back to the area formula then, we've got the area is x squared plus x times b. And remember, that gives us the value a. Well, if we know that b is 40 take away 2x, which we found from down here, if we know that b is 40 take 2x, then we can just do x squared plus x lots of 40 minus 2x. And that equals a. Now all we need to do is open up that equation. So we've got x squared plus 40 lots of x, is 40x, and minus 2x times positive x is minus 2x squared. And all that equals a. Let's clear the other side of the board for a minute. OK, so remember the question said we've got to show that x squared minus 40x plus a 
equals zero. We've got to prove that. We should have everything we need for that now. So going back to the formula we found so far, we've got from the other side, x squared plus 40x, take away 2x squared, gives us a. Well, we've got an x squared there, and we've got take away 2x squared there. So 1 take away 2 is minus 1. So we've got minus 1x squared plus 40x equals a. And going back to the what we've got to prove, it, x squared minus 40x plus a equals 0. This at the moment doesn't equal 0 because there's an a over that side. So let's get rid of that. It's going to take a from both sides. And if we do that, we get minus x squared plus 40x minus a equals nothing. So we're nearly there. We've got minus x squared plus 40x minus a, but we're trying to show that x squared minus 40x plus a equals 0. So we're a bit reversed at the moment. The one more thing we've got left to do. Whenever you want to change the signs of something, just multiply through by minus 1. Because if you times by 1, you get yourself. If you times by minus 1, you get reverse of yourself. So that's going to become x squared minus 40x this time plus a and that still gives us zero and that matches exactly what we were trying to prove so even though it looked like an absolute nightmare question all we've done is use the rules of perimeter and area of a rectangle and a bit of rearranging we've learned from previous videos and before you know it you've got three marks x squared minus 40x plus a equals zero Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Happy Go Lucky, and you've been doing some really extended algebra maps. Well done, you. Thanks for watching. Bye.